yesterday. Neighbor on my Bahamadouche put out a message on, tweet, on Twitter. I'm waiting for the fight against Taylor. That was the message. It's a bit weak. You know, she could at least have said, I'm waiting for a fight against that bitch, Taylor. Better still, she could have said, I'm waiting for a fight against that Irish bitch, Taylor. Now, of course, if she said that, she'd probably have to arrest herself for a hate crime. But at least people would be talking. You know, Chantelle Cameron, she's been looking for a fight with Taylor for a couple of years now. And she also, she says, she says very weak things on the subject. Now, Ebony Bridges, she talked a load of rubbish about knickers, but it worked. She got the fight she wanted, a dream fight for her. She got thousands, tens of thousands of new pounds. She also got money and a, a big career, career boost. So, now I don't know if Hamadouche was serious. I don't know if that was intentionally a weak tweet, but uh, if it was if it was intended serious, well, it's not going to work. It's a totally forgettable tweet. And if you want to fight, and this has been proved now, there's no doubt. If you want to fight, just get nasty with people. You know, call them out in a vicious way. And, uh, you know, you end up getting the fight. The fans are entertained. Uh, the fight brings in more money. So everyone wins. And regardless of what people say publicly, privately, people love it. We all love a good row. But, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the fight against Taylor. That's really weak. That's really, really, really weak.